Uh, these are long-term leases. It's critical infrastructure that we provide for these companies for the next several decades. Uh, that's important because we own the network. We basically invest in the critical infrastructure to continuously improve it on their behalf. So what does that look like at the end of the road here? Is there a competition that ends up forming between you and the client at the end of the day if, if it is a leasing business instead of a, an owned to rent, if you will? I think the way we should think about this is these technology companies are recognizing that the network of yesterday doesn't serve what they need to do in the AI economy. These networks aren't big enough, they're not fast enough, they're not secure enough, and Lumen is fixing all of that. We're building out, expanding the internet at large effectively, building new routes and building a digital platform on top of our, our uh, infrastructure to ensure seamless customer experiences. We're providing the biggest technology companies in the world the opportunity to focus on what they do best while providing pathways for high bandwidth, low latency, high, highly secure uh, paths for customers to, trans, you know, to transfer AI workloads. Kate, I'm the only person at this desk old enough to remember uh, when people laid fiber for the internet and it was very expensive, but we were super psyched about it at the time. They racked up a lot of debt and eventually uh, some of them had difficulty with their stock prices later on. How much are you paying uh, per mile for this fiber? And do you think this time it's gonna be different for Lumen? So what's happening right now is we're taking a network that was built a couple of decades ago and probably underutilized and we're bringing it and capitalizing it on opportunity of explosive growth in data centers, which need connectivity. AI needs data. Data needs connect. Your data needs data centers. Data centers need connectivity. And we are here for that moment. And we have two uh, basic growth vectors that we're leaning into. The first is building out the AI economy backbone, right? That's us, that's the critical infrastructure for these biggest technology companies and social platforms on the planet. The second growth vector for us is selling digital services, high value, great, seamless, quick, effortless customer experiences that customers have always dreamed of for networking but have never gotten. And today, more than ever, it's important to them because to operate with the agility and the efficiency in the AI economy, they simply have to have that digital platform. Two growth vectors on top of a world-class network. And Kate, I'd love to talk about how these partnerships, what they mean basically for Lumen's balance sheet. Because if I go to the DDIS function on the Bloomberg terminal, I see that Lumen has about $20 billion in debt. So when you take a look at these partnerships, how should they help you service that debt in the coming years? So the first thing you should see is in our debt profile, we did a massive restructuring last year to give us plenty of time to run our turnaround. Right. What these deals do is they inject cash into the company to allow us to self fund that turnaround. So it's a it's a great moment for us. We have a very, very bright future. So when you think about the debt load that Katie was talking about as well, what are some of the options that you have? Would you consider more asset sales to pay some of that down? Hey, look, we're always going to look at delivering a maximum return to our shareholders. So whatever form that comes in. But right now, what we have that we haven't had in the past are two growth vectors that I just talked about. One, continuing to build out this backbone uh, for the biggest technology companies on the planet. And two, in the second phase, and this is really, really important, enterprises are coming to us and they're recognizing the very same thing that the big hyperscalers have already recognized. They're saying our networks aren't sufficient to serve us in the AI economy. We simply need more. So we're seeing a major uptick in demand for some of these higher bandwidth services, which is giving us an opportunity uh, to put the company on a growth path, which is super exciting. Yeah, it, this, I mean, seems like a huge money maker, Kate, if you can use the asset right. So I wanna know specifically about the fiber that you lay for Amazon. They're gonna lease it. You said long term. I assume that means, mm -hmm. you know, like a decade or decades. Um, can you sign up other customers to use the same fiber? And are you able to sell them higher margin digital services as well? 
That, that's exactly the vision, right? That's exactly on point. The fir- three phases to this AI story from a networking perspective. The first, we're right in the middle of it. We've inked these big deals. We've got more on the horizon. We're super excited about our progress here. Nobody else is signing up these great customers. And these are long-term, multi-decade deals where they're effectively leasing this critical infrastructure and providing annuity streams for us, and that's growth vector one. Growth vector two is really about enterprises exactly the way you just described it, saying, hey, I gotta be able to be agile and nimble. I wanna be able to consume these network services in a way that I've come to expect in the digital age, which is quick, secure, and effortless. And the only communications company on the planet who's building as a service model or cloudifying telco is Lumen. Right. And so there's a major opportunity for us to lean into both of those growth vectors. And then I think there's a third part of the story, which is on the horizon. Remember, we're a network uh, company, so we love massive amounts of data. Hyperscalers building out to train their models, enterprises building to use those models. And then we are seeing an opportunity for when AI talks to AI, a massive increase in the amount of data required and the pathways to support it. And Kate, of course, uh, you've been on a partnership spree over at Lumen, three uh, big partnerships in the last several months. You said in August that you had secured $5 billion in new business related to the AI boom and that you were in active discussions with customers to secure an additional $7 billion in sales. Of course, we've seen this AWS partnership. We've seen Meta since Mm -hmm. then. Should we be expecting anything else or are we at $7 billion already? Hey, so I can talk more about our progress uh, at our earnings call next week. Right now, you should know, I think the message is we're just getting started. And I think that these deals are indicative of the validation of the opportunity that we've been talking about, and we're capitalizing on it, and we're super excited by our progress.